What is a quarter coin? 4.3a? Well, a quarter is 25 cents. See? And a quarter that is worth 25 cents can be equal to 25 pennies or 5 nickels or 2 dimes and a nickel. Really, anything that's worth 25 cents, any combination of coins, right? So, there's a couple of different quarters because this is the old quarter and they're still floating around in cash registers and in people's purses and pockets. And it has a picture of George Washington on the front. See? And this old quarter that's worth 25 cents, four of these makes one dollar. And George Washington is on the front and a United States emblem on the back. Now, it depends on what year the quarter was made. For these old quarters that look like this, the design on the back changed every few years. This one is an eagle standing on a shaft of arrows. See if you can see this. He's standing on a shaft of arrows, and here's some olive branches. There's two olive sprig branches here. See that? So that's the old quarter. Now, we have new quarters, and they came out around, nine, uh, around 2004. We started getting these new quarters. Now, they're also worth 25 cents, and it's got our first president, George Washington, on the front, but all the backs are different. Four quarters still makes a dollar, but this one has George Washington and on the back of each quarter is a design for one of the 50 states. So you could have many quarters in your pocket and all the backs will look different. See, because it could be from different states. Each state design is different. Now this one is for Florida. And there's a picture of the shuttle. Here's a picture of a ship. It's a Spanish galleon. And it's got some land with some palm trees. See that? Because those are the things that Florida is known for. It's known for the Kennedy Space Center and it's known for Ponce de Leon and looking for the Fountain of Youth and they have lots of palm trees. See? So that's why they've got this picture on the back of their quarter. I wonder what picture you've got on the back of your state quarter. So four quarters equals one dollar bill. See that? Four of these quarters equals one dollar bill. So we could say that one quarter is 25 pennies. I'd rather carry this one quarter than all of these pennies in my pocket. And one quarter is five nickels. It's also two dimes and one nickel. But a quarter can be equal to any combination of coins as long as they total 25 cents. We could have two dimes and five pennies, couldn't we? We could have different combinations of these. We could have a dime and ten pennies and a nickel, as long as it equals 25 cents, okay? So those are quarters, and that's what we're going to talk about in this next lesson, 4.3b. All right, and that'll be part two of this lesson. I hope you'll see me there. Bye.